Oui, merci, uh, Monsieur. Thank you, President. Uh, Madam President, uh, President of the Council, we're at a very important point in, uh, for the European Union. You said that in your um, uh, opening speech, and uh, you've said that we have a very important duty. Um, at 10 years, that's when in France, uh, children go from primary school to secondary school, and it's a new phase for them. It's when they um, leave the comfort of primary school and go to a slightly more complicated situation, uh, one which allows them to um, face up to a, a changing world. And we know the, that this world has changed over the last 10 years. The challenge that we're facing now are not the same as the ones we faced 10 years ago. There are climate issues, solar, social issues, migratory issues, issues of um, movement of peoples, democracy, uh, danger to our democracy. Uh, sometimes even within uh, the EU and uh, the rule of law, law. These are the subjects that we're looking at today. The rules have to change. The world is changing and we have to change our rules along with it. We have to do that uh, democratically and respecting the rule of law. Uh, and I'm saying this turning to council. Uh, the way uh, intergovernmental um, procedures have to change. You have to focus more on um, citizens' representation, so the Parliament. The Lisbon Treaty was the first step in that, and it's absolutely vital that we continue that process. The Council itself has to become more transparent. Then the Commission can count on two co-legislators. Yes, we've just heard the uh, um, Conference of Europe that you put forward in your speech, Madam President, is something uh, essential. Citizens and civil society have to be anchored into public debate and we have to take their expectations into account and meet them. We can't continue uh, in the European Union without citizens and civil society. That's why in this uh, conference for Europe we shouldn't um, ignore citizens. We have to bring them into the European project and ensure them that in the 21st century there will be European citizenship. It's not just going to be 27 different national citizenships from each member state. There's something above that. And it's the European general interest. So, um, Mr. President, Madam President, I know that the Parliament will be there to help you to ensure that citizens come into public debate, as does uh, civil society. We can't miss this opportunity. It might be one of the last chances for Europe to move closer to its citizens. I'm finishing, uh, Mr. President. Seventy years ago, there was another event. Mr. Winston Churchill uh, took the floor just uh, a few hundred metres from here in uh, Place Kleber, and he uh, said a couple of lines, uh, and they're still relevant today. The dangers that we're facing are huge, but also is our strength is uh, just as big. There is no reason why we shouldn't succeed uh, and ach achieve our goal and establish uh, this united Europe. That was true 70 years ago, and it's still true, more true than ever today. Thank you.